It's Stevie T again, and I've got some more hidden meanings for you guys in backwards songs. And some of them are so ridiculous, I can't even believe there are people out there that actually believe these were intentional. So why don't we jump right into it? First up, we've got Miley Cyprus. You know, <laughs> Miley Cyrus used to be such an innocent little Disney star, but now... She's being accused of having some sexually explicit hidden meanings in a song that is already kind of sexually explicit? In her song, Wrecking Ball. You came in, then you wrecked my balls! So the part of the song under question is this part right here. We clawed, we chained our hearts in vain. Now, apparently if you play that backwards, you get this. <laughs> this girl, honey, she love you. D does she love me long time? All right, this girl, honey, Miley Cyrus. We already knew that. <laughs> you, you didn't have to subliminally hide it in your song. Now there's only one way to know for sure if this subliminal message was hidden intentionally. So we're gonna give this the vocal test. I'll show you how this works. Record. This girl, honey, she love you. All right, now I'm gonna take this audio clip and reverse it. I'll put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Now when I play this clip back, it should sound like the original lyrics. And if it doesn't, then we can't assume that Miley Cyrus hid this message in there intentionally. <laughs> Sounds more like it's saying, We gladly chained our hearts, eh? We gladly chained our hearts, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, that doesn't sound like the original at all. No, no it doesn't. So did Miley Cyrus intentionally try to taint our minds? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Only when you play the song forwards, though. This backwards hidden message is absolute BS. Now, if you think TV theme songs have got off scot-free, well, you can think again. Because this time, we've got good old Popeye the Sailor Man being accused of having the mouth of a sailor. So here it is, forwards. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye the Sailor Man. We got the picture. But if you play that backwards, you get this. <laughs> Popeye! You dirty old man! Okay, well first of all, it doesn't sound like he's saying the F word. I don't like to swear in my videos. It sounds more like he's saying fa. Oh yes, give me a fa. Oh yes, give me a fa. Okay, listen, I know we don't like to think that Popeye would intentionally do this, but let's face it. The guy's unpredictable, okay? He's got substance abuse problems, possible anger issues, so we can't put it past him. So why don't we do the vocal test to help prove his innocence? Yes, give me a fa. Oh, yes, give me a fa now. Reverse and review. One, a famous say, a famous say. I'm not famous say. So apparently we're not even gonna say sailor anymore. I'm Popeye So I guess Popeye is in the clear. No, he did not intentionally leave swear words in his theme song. Now the next one is so hilarious that there's no possible way it was hidden intentionally. It's the police with Roxanne. Roxanne! You don't really Then in the one part of the song he says, Say your body to the night. Say your body to the night. And if you play that backwards, you get this hilarious subliminal message. 
I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to mean, Sting. Though I do have to admit, Sting does have a really tight uh, Well, we'll play it again. Oh, you're leaving? Oh, why don't you stay and loosen up my ass? I really hope this one has some truth to it. Let's give it the vocal test. Stay and loosen up my ass! All right, let's see. Stay on my ass! <laughs> All right then. All right then. The first part of that actually sounded pretty close to the original. <laughs> Apparently, we went from "sell your body to the night" to "sell your body to my ass." Oh, hey man, I heard you were looking to sell your body. Uh, why don't you sell it to my ass? Sell your body to my ass. <laughs> wow. Although because it doesn't sound exactly like the original, unfortunately we can't assume that it was intentional. Roxanne! You don't have to turn on the red Now, the Beatles have had their share of subliminal message accusations, but this time it's Sir Paul McCartney who's on trial. Paul McCartney and Wings with their song, Band on the Run. Band on the Run. So the part of the song that is accused is this part right here. Touching everyone for the band on the run. Band on the run. And if you play that backwards, you get this marijuana e subliminal message. Okay. Yeah, with all that marijuana, you would be banished from the law, I would think. Okay, I gotta hear that again. <laughs> so right off the bat, I'm skeptical because it doesn't sound like he's saying marijuana. It sounds more like he's saying marijuana. marijuana. <laughs> Huge difference. So we went from marijuana to marijuana. marijuana. But let's give it the vocal test to find out for sure. Marijuana. Marijuana. The law, law will banish us. Reverse, review, you're getting the picture. Yeah. So should I above Hold on. And all rain. So apparently Ben on the run is now Han Ram. And all rain. What the heck is a Hanover Ram? So should I above Hold on. <laughs> that first part was pretty good, actually. Searching everyone. Then it just gives up and it's like, Searching everyone. Hold on. <laughs> like went all stroke there. Hand over ram. That doesn't sound like Ben on the run at all. So uh, I'm thinking this subliminal message was not intentional. Now, let me take you back to 1992 when Barney the Dinosaur was fresh on the scene and Stevie Wee was an absolute Barney junkie. I love that sh**. Little did I know that Barney was feeding us subliminal messages in his backwards theme song. No wonder I ended up like this. <laughs> So it is this part of the theme song right here. Ready for a nostalgia trip? After school, they need to play and sing with happy faces. Barney shows us lots of things like how to- Okay, we've, we all know the theme song, but if you play it backwards, you get this. <laughs> what? What? 
whoa! Ke w Barney! Hi kids, today we're gonna talk about fighting. Barney's so gentle, we sleep with him, we're making out with him. Barney! We have to clear Barney's name. Let's give this the vocal test. See if my childhood hero was really a Satanist. <laughs> Barney is so gentle, we sleep with him, we're making out with him. We do revenge and suffer while he's mocking us. Can't believe we got that stupid smell, why is he here? Man, we've got to buy some slippers and some sushi, no. And then we back and slay a Christian while you look so fat. That was a mouthful. Okay, so let's reverse and see what we got. <laughs> I don't know what language that was in, but that was not the original lyrics. Not even close. Barney can be your friend too if you just join with Satan. Alright, well, it's been fun. It's been hilarious, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Testing out songs like this is like my new favorite hobby. And if you know of any songs that have hidden meanings that we should test together, comment it in the comment section. And please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Ding 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 ding. Oh, so, 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 so,